Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at o'clock I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Just after nap o'clock. Yes, we got 14 naps a day. We try to have 14 naps a day. Okay, I'm going to be uh, giving you NHL picks today, coincidentally. That's why it's called NHL. That's why it says in the title I'm going to do that. I'm going to give you all the totals and all the lines for all the games. Now, we had somebody in the comment section. I won't go to it today. They asked me, what's your favorite play for today? Well, I can't tell you that because I got paid customers that I tell that to. They pay their hard-earned money, as somebody liked to say, to uh, to get those picks. And uh, so I give them to them. But I do give you free picks, like all the picks. Then you just got to figure out which one is the best ones. But here's the thing. I work on an algorithm. If you bet every pick I have, give, uh, you will end up being up Pretty much every week, only one week this year so far have we been down. Every other week we've been up. We're up, I think, well, we're up today. We're going to look into that. We'll see that. We were up from yesterday uh, or from our, for our picks for today. And I imagine we're going to be up tomorrow. We're going to take a look at that as well. Hit the sub button. Get yourself a Pearls of Wisdom necklace, Pearlocoptered right to your door. And I'll even staple to it a uh, one hour free of uh, that Perlo's House of Spanking. Just because just I'm feeling feeling frisky. Why not? One hour free. Perlo's House of Spanking for you too. So hit the sub button there. Good for you. Excellent. Excellent work. It's a little Pearls of Wisdom dance for you. Made that up myself. Pretty good, eh? If you, call, if you go to the Perlos House of Spankin, you can also go right beside it is Chinky's House of Yoga and uh, Pilates. In the back, we do uh, Perlo dance lessons, free lessons. Not free. You got it. Well, actually, it's it's free if you pay for that. If you go to uh, Perlos House of Spankings or if you go to Chinky's House of Yoga and Pilates, we just throw it in there for free for you. And uh, it's, it's quite the frolic. Talking about frolic, let's get into our picks, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay. First game on the docket, as they like to say. What is a docket? Is that like a dock? Uh, like, you know, docket. Probably when the boats come in, they used to call it a docket, but now we just call it a dock. Let me know in the comment section what you think about that. Um. Oh, yeah, somebody commented in the comment section about McDavid being the best ever. I don't know if they were agreeing with me or not. Please let me know. I think McDavid is the best hockey player I have ever seen in my life. And I know I I knew, used to watch Wayne Gretzky all the time. And, I mean, yes, you can make a case that, of course, his career is no doubt about it. He's had a greater career. But was he a greater player skill-wise than McDavid? I say no. And I bet you Wayne Gretzky says no, too. But we can have that argument in the comment section. Uh, Washington Capitals and the Philadelphia Flyers at home. A little bit. This is kind of interesting because they had the big brouhaha against the Rangers there. But... Um, if you watch that game, they calculated to make sure they took care of things, but they also won the game. So it showed you that they were really trying to win that game. Um, I don't know why they keep on going back to Vanacek here. I've, I, it, lo- so, it sounds like Vanacek's going to be in net again. I haven't heard anything wrong about Sam Sonoff. Let me know in the comment section if you know anything about that. This is a total. I'm going to go over on the total. And um, I'm just going to go money line, though. I just have a feeling that Rangers game, you know, you're you're giving up a lot of juice, but I think they should pull it through on the money line for sure. But after that Rangers game, there could be a little bit of a letdown here, um, even though there shouldn't be because they are still going trying to reach for that number one spot. 
in the East, but it could be. And they got enough shooters. They got a bunch of guys out, although Wilson will be back. He wasn't hurt. No, he wasn't. Uh, Wilson will be back, and I don't think Ovechkin will be. Uh, Kuznetsov is still on the COVID protocol. So they have a few people out. Schultz, Kuznetsov, Sprong. Um, I just I like their determination better than Philadelphia's. It's simple as that. I, I I'm not overly huge on this game though. I don't think I'm putting a lot on it. And by tomorrow morning, I may change my mind even. I don't know. But as of right now, I got Washington over Philadelphia. Columbus versus Detroit. The, I don't like the total is five in here. And if Bernier is in net, I'm probably going to go with that, the five. Uh, that'll probably be the bigger play here because I got Detroit puck line. I think Detroit will keep it, may, might win the game and will definitely keep, will probably keep it close, I would think. The spread, what are you getting? Again, not, you're giving up juice, but it's the highest percentage play for any money you're going to make on the line. As far as the total is concerned, I'll go under five. Uh, these two teams can play under five a lot. And you're getting 207 if you go over to bet online at AG. That's not, you're getting good, you're not giving up any juice. You're getting plus money on the under five. And they'll go under a lot. So I would say that's a pretty good play. Tampa Bay versus Dallas. Tampa Bay is going to be playing Florida the next day. Almost surely they're going to play McElhaney here. Dallas had a rough game the last game. Uh, they seem to be pooching out a little bit. But with McElhaney in net, I'm going to go on the PL again. I think at the very least they'll keep this close. They still are desperate to try to stay in it. Dallas PL for 157. I, I'm not putting huge on these because Tampa Bay has been voodoo this year. They could still crush this game. They could still crush this game. Are you getting 165 for Tampa Bay on the ML? Oh, that's actually not bad. Well, with McElhaney and Ned, I don't like it. Tough one. No, I'm going to stick with D Dallas PL. Maybe even go Dallas ML by tomorrow. Uh, Minnesota versus Anaheim. I am going to go with Minnesota. I know Anaheim has been playing a lot better. You know what it is? They got Trevor Zegras has got an energy that is just unbelievable. Uh, great leader already at his age. He's got a level of belief for his team and himself that is amazing. Um, he believes in his team and he believes in himself. Minnesota could have a bit of a letdown game here after the Vegas series. Also, I didn't even look. Is this their first game back off of a road trip? No, they've been at home. Yeah, I, I gotta go with I gotta go with uh, Minnesota. Uh, yeah, they're just too slick of a team to lose to Anaheim, I think, even if they have Gibson in that. So I'm going Minnesota in regulation. We're giving up a lot of juice on all these picks. I'm not going to go puck line because Gibson can hold them in. And Anaheim, like I said, they, got, they have some young guys that are fighting hard for spots, and they got to get energy right now. I just think Minnesota's got is too much for them in the long run, and they'll win uh, as far as the total is concerned. Uh I want goaltenders here. I'm going to go under five and a half. Colorado versus Los Angeles. I don't know what's going on with Colorado. Uh, they can't, like they can't beat San Jose. Grubauer should be in. Los Angeles just beat Arizona twice. I don't like this. I don't like any of these games, to tell you the honest truth, because of the way some of the 
these teams have been playing going into the playoffs. Um, I think the total is your best bet here, especially quick could be in. Maybe. No, he's hurt. It's going to be Peterson. I still like the over. Over, it would be my play, and I'll put a unit on Colorado in regulation. They should win that game. On paper, they should destroy that game. But the way they've been playing lately, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Vegas versus St. Louis. I'm going to go with Vegas here. This is Vegas has got a um, – St. Louis, I believe, ruined their uh, winning streak there a little while ago. And St. Louis was coming on pretty well, but their defense is terrible. One thing for sure. My big play here is going to be on the total. I'm going over five and a half here for sure. Over five and a half. It doesn't matter who's in net. Uh, both of these teams can break things open. If if there's a lot of penalties, St. Louis has got a great power play. Vegas can score in any situation. Uh, they should both be fairly... Um, Fresh, not too bad. And it's going to be on a back-to-back, -back, so watch out for the goaltenders here. Um, interesting game. Yeah, I'm going to take Vegas puck uh, on in regular. Can I take him in regulation? Uh, let me see. Where's St. Louis? He, they play at Anaheim home. This is their first game on the road. Big game, sort of. They kind of got, I think Vegas will win that game. Vegas in regulation. Uh, I don't think you have to go in reg. You know, you could go in reg if you want to bring her closer to double your money, but let's just stick with the money line, and uh, we'll go over five and a half for the larger bet. Arizona versus San Jose. I'm going to go with San Jose. Um, you got to got to give it to uh, Bob Bugner. He uh, has got this team playing pretty darn well, and Coronar. Is he going to when? It's just a question of when he's going to stop being on a roll. But if he's playing as well as he is, Arizona doesn't have all that much offense. I am going to go on the under on these. I like totals more than lines today. I like the under here, and you're getting pretty good on that. San Jose has actually been playing a, the best defense they played all year. And uh, Arizona doesn't, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they have confidence in Coronar. So the way Coronar is playing and Arizona doesn't have the greatest offense in the world, I think I don't think Arizona will score enough to push this to the over. So I'm going to go under here on this one. Now, if you want, you can take off now because those are your picks. You got your meat. You can take it to Guido, your guy there that you do your bets or whatever. And uh, you can go now. Have a great day. Now, uh, don't leave, though, if you don't want to, because we're going to look at what, how we did yesterday. And uh, I'm going to bring that up here. I forgot to go like this. Here we go. We'll look at how we did today, yesterday, depending, on the 6th, how we did on the 6th. Not good here. Uh, but that being said, I probably take my bet off this game when I find out that uh, Kopitar or why do I always Koskinen is in net and he dropped four goals and four shots. Look terrible. Um, I th I still think the Oilers can come back from this. I actually put out a live bet to my clients when it was four two, but may not work out. But uh, I had the if you look at the my when on my Patreon, I had this down uh, that the Hurricanes were going to score early and hold on until the end, but they didn't hold on. The big thing is, though, our big bet was on the under, and we got it. Uh, I wasn't as confident on the Hurricanes. I did have the Hurricanes in reg, though, but the under was a big play for me. I, I Hurricanes were playing a lot of games, and I thought they were just going to do exactly what they kind of tried to do score one or two early and then try to play a trap game, but the Blackhawks got through their trap and pulled it out. I especially did like the Hurricanes more when Dalia was put in, but I didn't put an extra play on it because I knew they were tired. 
Uh, this was our pick of the day. Bruins puck line for five pearls, units, whatever you want to call it. If it's $100, it would be 500 per. Nailed it. Got it. Yeah, I think that was in puck line. Yeah, it was 230. So we did well there. Put us way up, way up. We had the over for a unit, but so we lost a unit on that. We had the Devils on the puck line. So it was, I was really tempted to take the Devils ML here, but I went out, took it puck line at 185, and we had the under. So we were up considerable on that one. Great game here. We had the Penguins in regulation. I was a little concerned that maybe Buffalo might be able to keep this close, but they didn't. I was considering puck line, but uh, we went in regulation. It was paying like 150, and we went the over for two pearls each, so up again. And big time, we had the Maple Leafs in regulation, and we had the over. So we were up about eight units today. Eight pearls today. Pretty good. Good day. All right, guys. Tell me what you got your picks in the comment section, uh, how you did yesterday. Maybe take a picture of your ticket, show it off, or something like that. Also, remember my show tomorrow, Monday to Friday, 3 to 5 Eastern. Uh, we have such a good time doing picks. We're going to have a playoff series coming on right away for picks where the winner of like just the way, the way they do playoff brackets and if you want to get in on that anytime you come in we'll start a new bracket for you it'll keep on going and the frolic is endless over there there will be frolic if you enjoy frolic you'll really like it here's my patreon here uh, i'm just going to show you a little bit about some of the things the way i do things on my patreon so you see the kind of service you get if you decide to go over there I'll give you a free month, cost you 25 bucks. Uh, here, you know what? What I do is I do a little, uh, these are our baseball picks. Our baseball guy has been absolutely crushing. His name is Boric, Joe Boric, the professor. Go check him out at Sports Fanatic News. He is making huge money for us. Unbelievable. See, I said devil's puck line right there, just in case you didn't think I had it. And this is, I give you a little synopsis of why I say that. Blackwood is back to his early season form in net. I actually think they are a more confident team going in here. I did. I thought New Jersey was a more confident team. Even though I misspelled more, I forgot the E. But that's sort of what I get. Now, if you want to go to the... Uh, you want to see the tiers. I've been asked to kind of explain these tiers a little bit. Uh, this is a public page. That's Joe Bork right there. Awesome ball capper. Killer. Killer, killer, killer. There you go. This is the tiers. If you take this one, it's $33.50 Canadian, $25 American per month. I will give you a free month right now. Just press join. Put up your stuff. Give them your stuff. And uh, that will, that's it. As simple as that. If you want to take the smaller ones, go, go ahead. You just don't get the free month. If you want to take the large one and then go down to the smaller ones, have, feel free. If you want to take the large one, take the free month and then say, I don't want this and leave. And it doesn't cost you a dime. Go ahead. If you want to take the large one and three months later, you don't want it anymore. Go ahead. You're not locked into Anything you can leave whenever you want. Most people don't, though, just to tell you. Okay, that's my full 42, boys and girls. That's all I got to give right now. Uh, you have a great day. And uh, I don't want to finish on this. I want to finish on that. There. Okay, bye.